Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game, and we are returning to our Let's Play of Command Modern Operations. We're playing the United uh, States Navy, and we're playing against China, but things aren't looking great. We have uh, we had been tasked with protecting a couple of Filipino vessels. They were sunk by the Japanese. And the reason for that is uh, we can't really do anything about that. We couldn't. We're just too far away. You can see uh, our forward-based ships are, even at this point, they're around 70 miles away from that. And if we do look over here, these guys do not have any anti-surface weapons, except for that 57mm gun, which is extremely short-ranged. Uh, we can actually look at that in the uh, column over here, so you can see our anti-surface weapons. It's just that. That is that is the entirety that we can cover with our anti-surface weapons. That is what they can cover. But, fear not, we are going to go a little bit more on the offensive here, and you can already see a couple of our ships, uh, or sorry, aircraft streaming in from down here. I, I've renamed them a little bit. Uh, we've got the anti-ship missile group here with four planes. And then we've got uh, the harm group here with the anti-radiation missiles. Uh, and they're going to come in here and hopefully engage these guys. Now, the, the uh, second thing that we do have is we've got this submarine and it might actually get into range here nicely of these guys. I'm hoping that is going to work. I don't know. For now, uh, we need to stay defensive, and what we're going to do here is we're going to try to pretty much shoot down the aircraft that are coming forward. So you can see there's a single missile streaming towards some of these bogeys here. We think that these guys are JH-7s, uh, so strike aircraft that were coming in somewhere here, either from uh, this airport, or somewhere here from Hainan, or from the Paracel Islands. But... We've seen them, they must be somewhere around here, and we don't know more about that though. Uh, what we do know is there are a couple of smaller ships over here. We probably want to deal with these guys as we are coming along. Why have you stopped? Now, I actually want both of these guys here to come close towards the destroyer because I think um, they'll, they're just too dispersed for the moment. They can't mutually support each other, so that's not great. Uh, they do need to be a little bit better than that. Let's keep an eye on the other shipping in the area. Uh, for now, I don't see anyone who's behaving very uh, suspiciously, except for these three ships, but we know about them. So, yeah, um, I guess we can accelerate a little bit here. There is a second J8, so that's... By the way, uh, I noticed that you can hold Alt. Well, I thought you could. Yeah, fair enough, then. Right, okay, something has happened. Uh, what was that? I think it was uh, one of these planes here shot down. Uh, well, that's lovely. Um, let's do keep an eye on the air weapon range. Yeah, so we can't really engage them. That is that. Is that. But I guess that's fine. They've vanished. We And they were indeed trying to jam us. So we know that they were indeed enemy. Which is, you know, what we thought anyway. So that's fine. Uh, we've got this drone over here. You are a little bit close towards these guys, so I suppose what we can do is bring you up a little bit over here. Sort of try to cross their path. Uh, you're going to be around for three hours, that's great. Our intercept point here is about 20 miles, so we should theoretically be able to stick around and guide our uh, submarine in here. That would probably not work in reality because of the communication issues involved in trying to coordinate submarines, but you know what, there we go. Right, uh, let's bring you in here. We've got certain other guys down here too. Now, one of the main issues I see is we don't really have a good anti-submarine warfare group. And additionally, we don't have any air cover here over our fleet for now. So we really need to pull more guys in and try to protect us uh, um, against them. But for now, there's very limited things that we can do. Okay, so I think the harm aircraft are filled up. That's good to see. By the way, I've... Uh, Remodel the tankers here such that they are wait a minute um, such that they can split off uh, And go home individually because I see that this guy here number 10 He's slightly low on fuel and don't want everyone to go around at the same time And uh, that being said you guys are refueling and then you're gonna head up there. That's gonna be fine and dandy Don't think anyone else needs to be refueled. So that's good uh, But what was that contact change that we had just had or something? Skunk. Okay, just a commercial vessel. Okay, that's that's fine. That's not a big issue here. Right, what is it? Ooh, also I do see that this guy has gone down, I think. So that is interesting information. Contact change, is that it? Yeah, they vanished. So they went under after being hit by eight of... I believe it was eight Hellfires. 
So uh, that's a good development. What we can do though is try to look at these guys here. Now they are still reloading Hellfires. They loaded about 30 minutes ago. And they're going to load Hellfires now and then they can take off again in 6 hours. That is well within our uh, uh, timing that we need to talk about here. But I think we could think about doing something else here. And that is I would like potentially for you guys to take on this role over here. So that we're going to use them and as an anti-submarine warfare platform. That's exactly what we're going to do. That means they're probably going to take, oh no, we're going to take pretty much at the same time. So that's lovely. I think they're probably just refueling at the moment um, and then they can change the weapon pots quickly. But that is probably going to be more important because we just don't know where all of these guys are. And that being said, who are you to be running at uh, a speed of 25 knots? And why don't we only see you intermittently? We didn't see you before. I'm skeptical about what that means. And we have only seen you for a very short time frame here. That might mean that you're some form of of stealthy vessel. You're also extremely quick and you're streaming right into our operational zone. Now granted these guys are doing that too and he's definitely not a hostile ship. But I don't know exactly what that means and I dislike that. Right, now the next thing that we need to talk about at some point is how are we going to deal exactly with these ships that are coming in. Now we've uh, established last time around that their defences are pretty good. 10 harpoon missiles. We can't feel that many uh, that many missiles right now. What we need to do is we need to pull in a lot more aircraft to help out in, in a simultaneous attack to overwhelm them. Now, that's perfectly viable, but it just wouldn't work with all of the stuff that we have set up right now. There's just too much that is going on. Um, by the way, I dislike the categorization here. It seems to make sense, but sometimes it's just, it just doesn't because you're not seeing what has just happened. Right, um, that being said, I don't see too much important things. So. Now, again, the big issue that I see is that we can't really use a lot of our shipping, uh, sorry, a lot of our planes in at the same time because it just doesn't figure out that well to, to what we're doing right now. So uh, let's try to match the speed of these guys a little bit more closely. I suppose you can come here. Don't want to crash you into anyone else. But yeah, so now you're supporting each other a little bit more and that's, that's good to see. Right, no, no big update here. Yes, we know about that plane. We certainly know about these guys coming in. Very skeptical about that guy. But what can we do, eh? Right, so what I'm thinking is nevertheless what we can do is we can use the planes that we've got in the air, um, which is four planes with eight missiles at the moment at the very least. So that's not nothing. It's at least something that we can try to push forward. Now, it's probably... Not going to be enough. By the way, are you refueling? Yeah, this is coming up, so that's good. You probably need a range of at least, I would have at least 500 nautical miles. We can push that somewhat over that. We can sometimes uh, tell them to basically leg it and, and come home on fumes and such. And there will be some benefit if we're launching these missiles. You're going to uh, have less weight as you're coming back, and that's usually a good thing. So usually you'd be uh, more fuel efficient there. And they would all work out, but I just prefer if we are staying a little bit more in the safe, uh, in the safe categories. Right, this Corvette. What's your what's your gun actually? It's 100 millimeter or something like that. No, 76 millimeter. That's probably the same as on the. I don't actually know on the Arlo Berkey. Class, what have you got? Bum, bum, bum. 127 millimeters. Okay, you should be out, able to outgun him though. So that is nice. Yeah, but the LTSs with their measly 57 millimeter gun, not a chance. I do like how close we are with the submarine though. I think the technical. You know what? We probably want to be a little bit slower though. Uh, not just on the point here, actually, actually go slowly right now. 
Yeah, you're gonna be here in three hours. They're gonna be here in one hour, but it should work out fine still. Okay, we probably wanna be a little bit faster. Can we do like 10 knots? I think that's a good speed. Yeah, fantastic. Good, that being said, I think everyone here is doing fine. Now, what I wanna do then is I wanna take these harms and I probably want to start an attack here. Now, the reason for that is um, they have good defenses, but the harm missiles, uh, because they are so fast at 2,000 knots, they're much harder to shoot down. So what we might see, what I'm hoping that we will see, is that we can take out at least mission damage to them, at least take out some of their radar installations, like this or that, and thereby hopefully blind them a little bit towards the uh, later attacks which might at that point be more useful. So that could be a good way to take them out. And I think that is exactly what we're going to try to do here. Um, there's nothing too fancy that we're going to do about that. Um, the attack profile of these guys is, is pretty fine. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to take Dan to six and he's going to f uh, take two missiles, which are going to be uh, targeted at the larger ship. We can of course not fire them now but uh, he will be able to do that in a moment. And then we're going to take the second guy here, Dam Buster number five, and he's going to allocate one missile towards each of these targets. And that means that uh, the whole group will be subject to a little bit of a barrage, just four missiles. But if they do hit, that would be great. That would just be do, do uh, very good things for us. Now you've got a lot of range, 900 miles, um, and you're only 300 miles from the target. By the way, what's the range on these guys? It's 70 miles. So that is actually outside of their engagement range, isn't it? Ooh, no, it isn't. So we need to be a little bit more careful. We probably need to dive down, come in low, and then do sort of a pop-up maneuver where we are um, just entering within our engagement range, popping up, acquiring the target, launching our missiles, and then turning back down again and sea skimming back um, towards base. Uh, which does, by the way, also mean that we will need to uh, n will need to burn more fuel because the lower you go in denser atmosphere, uh, the more fuel you're burning, and that is completely modeled by the game. Right. Speaking of fuel, how are you guys doing? You're fueling up, but you're all fueling up at the same time, so that's good. Um, how about these tankers? Yeah, you still have a lot of fuel here. It's just taking its time here to do that. But I think it's a good thing to do, and it should be giving you a lot of extra range, which is certainly going to come in extremely helpfully. Right, okay, a helicopter or helicopter drone and submarine are passing each other, so that's nice. Right, let's make sure to come in here. That should be okay. Right, I think all in all we're doing fine here. I'm going to accelerate a little bit more, but I do need to hover over the pause button here, uh, because that is quite dangerous. Uh, by the way... Oh, we know you're a motor yacht, that's why you're fast. You're just a civilian douche who's trying to run around in, in this area. It might be press or something like that, but you're certainly driving very fast through a hostile a hostile zone here. I might actually have fired at him and I've been a little bit more cautious. Uh, speaking of firing, I think what we're going to do here is, I think actually what I want to do is I want to assign more targets, uh, more missiles here to these targets. We've uh, attacked them successfully in the past. What I do not want to do is have you guys run very stupid maneuvers, uh, which, for example, would take you just just exactly uh, bypassing these ships. That would be a little bit stupid. Right, so let's try not to do that. Let's instead try to come in all sort of at the same time. Um, and again, you know, this is 2015, so I've uh, said that a couple of times, but the, it's interesting because the situation in the South China Sea is changing so quickly. And uh, today, I think in 2017, China introduced a large missile defense system on these islands here. So we wouldn't be really able to do what we're doing now and uh, engaging them with just a couple of cruise missiles there. Uh, speaking of engagement, now this J-8 is entering our engagement range, this, this light red uh, bar here. That is uh, that is a brave maneuver, not to say a completely stupid maneuver. I don't know why you're doing that, but it does 
mean that you're gonna get a missile into the face. We don't even need to do much about that. This is uh, all automated. He's been missed, but uh, oh, notice by the way, this guy has now spotted us. There's not much we can do about him. Uh, we don't have the engagement range, but yeah, there we go. So able to take him out very nicely there. Okay, here's another thing then. We've got the Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft here. You have a couple of torpedoes. Are these only anti-submarine torpedoes? Yes, they are. That's unfortunate. Um, it's normal. I mean, they're very, very light. I would have loved to target them maybe at this guy, but apparently that is not something that we can do. So, fine, I suppose. Right, where are our other planes, though? Do we have more stuff? You guys still not loaded up? No, you are not. Okay, fine. Let's try to bring you up there, though. You guys are coming closer, so we will need to keep an eye on there. And you know what? In fact, what we're going to do now is we are going to go to minimum altitude. We need to actually check. Do you have a launch, a minimum launch altitude? Yeah, 200 feet. That's fine. That's that's really fine. So, come on. I just want to get the group. Can I get you to go to 200 feet? I think at 200 feet you should be fine. Right, and we're going to come in like such. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you not diving down? Okay, let's, let's just go for minimum altitude here. Um, I'm going to change course here a little bit because these guys will need to take some time to, to dive down to the actual altitude that I want them to engage with. So let's bring them down here. And let's come in like such a little bit from the front. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, okay. Now you're coming down. Uh, notice how the range here that these guys have is decreasing rapidly as we are decreasing in altitude. That's normal. Uh, that's not too concerning. That range will jump up once they have launched their missiles and uh, especially once they have uh, come back to a more meaningful altitude or more sensible cruising altitude. Right, okay, these guys seem to be doing fine now. 9,000 feet. They can definitely be spotted, and these guys should not be surprised that they are going to be coming in. Um, but... Still. Right, there we go. Coming in at 100 feet. Let's see whether these guys are going to engage us um, as we are crossing that threshold, um, or whether they cannot see us for the moment. Um, oh, speaking of, what I should potentially do is... Yeah, just checking that these guys have not turned their radar on, uh, which they haven't, so that's good. You, on the other hand, have radar on. Let's enable air sensors here for a moment. So we don't really know whether there's anything over here, but still should be okay to know. Now, I'm hopeful because they have not engaged these Tomahawks, and they have not engaged this guy here, even though he's much higher. So that's good. Okay, what was uh, going on there? New air contact or something? Mm, don't think so. I don't see any new contact, so should be okay. Right, uh, let's see. Right, you guys are coming in. Let's declutter the interface here a little bit. You are within the engagement range of some of these guys. Oh, here's, a, here's an issue. Now, they cannot launch now because you need at least 200 feet. So it's going to be all right. Ooh, we've got an, a situation update. All from the meteorological office, unclass weather report, average temperature, sea state. Okay, so that's just a weather report. Okay, fine. I think that's, that's nice. Typically, that is not updated during a scenario, so that's uh, interesting to see. But it looked like pretty mild weather all in all, so nothing to be too concerned about. For now, we're just going to consider that as being neutral. Now, you are within engagement range of the last ship over there, so that does mean that what we can do now is pop up to, uh, let's, let's call it a, a low altitude. Yeah, you can see we are just uh, over the light cloud cover there. That's going to be all right. We're going to go to military speed now, which means we're going to be faster, and that means we can burn fuel even faster. Uh, but the good thing about that is we should be able to why are you not launching? Why are you not launching? Why are you not launching? Are you guys not emitting actively? That could uh, completely fall our plans. 
Ooh, you've got no admitted. You're not admitting. You are running silent. Oh, that's that's incredibly awkward. And you're still not filled up. Okay, that is that is truly taking ages here. But fine, I suppose. Right. Okay. What can we do here then? Ah, that's that's really that's that's really a bummer. They are running silent. So that means they're not actually engaging their radar installations, and that means we can't target them. I should have checked that. That's unusual. That's that's the AI normally doesn't do that. Which is of course completely nice, but uh Out of weapon range? No 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 that's that's these weapons, yeah. Okay, um what that does mean is we need to come back to a high altitude. We need to turn around and we need to come uh, to loitering speed. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, that is going to be not too detrimental here. Um, you know what? Um, I think you can come like that. And I want you to be at a low altitude still for now. And once you're passing that threshold here, you can come back to a high altitude. Yeah, so you're coming down low, escaping from there. We're going to see whether they're going to turn on their radar at some point. But for now, you aren't. And that's interesting. Because they, at this moment, they have absolutely no eyes whatsoever. And that might actually mean that if we can bring these guys up here, so where are they? Come on. You guys. You've got more than enough range, don't you? 300 miles. You know what? I don't believe that 300 miles, and even that would probably be sufficient. So let's come here. Let's go um, on cruise speed and let's um, cancel your current order. Uh, how do I do that? I want you to cancel the refueling. No, I'm sorry, not the strategy tanker, you guys obviously. Hmm. Ah, oh, unassigned unit. Okay, that, that should do it. Right, and then I would like you to come over there, and that should increase your range because you're now on a more efficient uh, speed. You were loitering before. And uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to take these guys. We're going to try to conduct a strike mission against these ships and uh, have the harm guys hover around that and, and provide seed. And the reason we're going to do that is that means that these guys should not yeah my friends I really need you guys to to increase in altitude come on just just go high yeah so that you can stay on station for a longer time and then we're gonna keep them on station we're gonna watch over these guys prevent them from turning the raid installations on and if we can achieve that that would of course be fantastic because that would basically mean that these guys cannot uh, defend that well against our strike package here. Now the big question is: you're going, you have a range of 600 miles, right? Um, and your range, your engagement range is 150. You're currently 500 miles from that, and that is math exercise zone work. So what we can actually do here is go to military speed, go slightly faster at the expense of burning a lot more fuel. Um, but even with that 400 miles, I'm feeling relatively confident that we can still engage them. So hopefully at least that should be okay, and that means we can come in closer, faster, and that means these guys are more likely to be within the envelope here. Because, sorry about that, and because what we need here is, yeah, we'll be here in less than an hour, 45 minutes or so. These guys can stick around for 50. It should just work out, but I'm, I'm more confident if we've got more of a buffer here. Uh, right, in the meantime, this guy has engaged us a lot more closely, and I think what we probably need to do is probably simply need to swarm you, don't we? Right, uh, let's bring forward the destroyer here. You've actually stopped, which I don't know whether that was a very good idea. Uh, but what we can certainly do is engage you with our uh, sort of large guns here. 
Let's do Raki with a couple of salvos. And let's try to use our range advantage there. I haven't really checked whether we do have a range advantage, but I do very much guess that we do. Right, and you know what? You guys can come up behind them. In fact, what we might actually want to do is group all of you guys. Can I do that? Yeah, I can. Good. Uh, I'll probably, in between uh, episodes, uh, try to define some formation here, but for now that should be okay. This is our surface action group. Right, um, you guys, all of you, by the way, um, can I ask you to just uh, sort of gather up here? That you're coming in not so piecemeal. Of course, completely my mistake for doing that, but I suppose it's okay. Right, I think that should uh, pretty much convert you. Right, um, the Poseidon. You're here to find enemy submarines. Um, let's try to get you out of the way here. New contact? What is that? Another J8? Yeah. If you're gonna just fly into waters, uh, you're welcome. If you're gonna suicide into us, uh, we have absolutely no issue with bringing you down. Right, that is interesting down here as well. It might of course be very lovely if we could attack these guys pretty much while uh, they are being engaged by our aircraft, but I don't think the timing will work that well. But still, if it could, that would be fantastic. I don't see any sort of helicopters except for the one single one that we did see, so overall, maybe, hopefully, that should be okay. Right, and um, let's bring you over here. Yeah, okay. You aren't gonna engage these uh, areas of that, that's fine. We're not engaging the airports themselves, but sort of pretty much everything around that. And um, can you drop an active sonar boy in a shallow layer? I'm somewhat concerned about what's going on here, and I see we're only dropping uh, passives, and most of them are actually below the layer. Uh, whereas it's really more likely that an enemy submarine would be above the layer. You guys are doing fine, you've got still 30 minutes. You guys are hopefully fine. Ooh, this is gonna get close, isn't it? I need you to run at least 150 miles. That's gonna be extremely close. But we'll see, we'll see. We've also got this guy coming up down here, right? My plan is to engage this uh, ship here but probably there's going to be a gunfight before that so let's see about that notice all these the uh, tomahawks are now engaging and i'm very much hoping that we're going to do a lot of damage here against these raid installations just by the way notice how large they are really did you just strike the airport even though i think you couldn't do that second station oh you're underground so that me makes you pretty hard to hit, doesn't it? Or at least you've got a lot of armor. That's what uh, simulated here. You know, if we do have reason to believe that you survived that, then uh, I think we can pretty much go ahead and uh, try to deal with that, that too. Right? No, I don't want the airport, I want the other thing. Yeah, the second side. There we go. Let's see where they're going to be launched. Okay, it looks at least like they're not going to be immediately engageable by these uh, ships, so that's fine too. Uh, even if they were, we could probably route them above them. Ah, uh, probably not. They're a little bit too far away. But it would be nice to actually time that with one of these guys down there. Just to have them uh, engage them and, and be there at the same time. That might actually be a good thing to do and, and try later on. So just that they are using some of the... You know what? We can actually do that for one of these guys. We can just route them over these guys and, and hope that they're going to turn, turn on their radar just for a second there. If they're going to turn that on for a second, we might have ample opportunity uh, to sink them with one of our ships here, uh, with one of our aircraft here. Or at least disable their radars. 
Uh, right, so, by the way, why are you not engaging this gentleman? He's considered out of weapon range. Packers out of weapon range. Weapon is on magazines, yeah, that's fine. Unit is not authorized to use SAMs. Yeah, that's okay, I don't actually want you to use SAMs. Uh, what's your engagement range then on the on the actual gun? Twelve miles. Okay, so not quite there yet, but soon you are gonna be. Works for me. Right. You know what? You are technically within range now. Because your weapons, your submarine weapons. do have a 20 mile range at 65 knots. The thing is, of course, if we were to engage them now, they would probably turn away and lag it. Heading to refuel point. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, we need to talk about your doctrine here. Right, so... Automatic invasion, that's fine, but I want you not to to go for refueling for now. I want you to be around, and I do not want you to go home. You have reached bingo fuel. I appreciate that, but your total radius is still 1,100 miles. That does bring you back to Singapore, and more importantly, I will allow you to refuel on your return journey. But I've just overridden them and that is dangerous. And that's actually the same, Jesus, I I always, always, always have that issue. So you guys, no, do not refuel at this very moment. Your job is to engage these planes, uh, these ships up there. No, 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 no. Go up there, it is your job. All I need is 20 minutes of your time. Yes, I know this is looking drastic. It's not, believe me. You're gonna get rid of your uh, weapons soon. Right, how are we looking down here? Okay, this might uh, enter the gun duel very, very soon. But you know what? I think now is a good place to put in a cut. So next time we are gonna be able to engage them. We have formulated a plan uh, we've got most of our guys to actually do what we need them to do and uh, hopefully be able to engage the enemy completely. That being said, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Do live like and all of that. And I hope to see you around next time. Bye-bye.